Hey, good morning. We're out early this morning fixing to move the cattle over the ridge. And it's it's a, a difficult move. It's just like all the rest of the moves. Uh, it's one of those things that's a little bit difficult. So one of the tips that I've never kind of talked about, at least that I can remember, is when is the best time to kind of move them as far as time of day. So I'm, I'll give you a little hint by looking back here. Some of the things you want to be sure and do is because this is a long move, uh, I'm going to make sure all my gates are shut on this. It's kind of a lane that goes down from that side of the ridge over to this side. So uh, down in that bottom is kind of where we're headed. Let's get down there and get them started. First, I've got to shut this gate. You know, I always have trouble with this move. Part of the problem is the distance. The further you move them, the greater the chance they'll get separated. And when they do, the baby is going back where they came from. This particular track has about a 100 foot hill right in the middle of it. That's what we call Pea Ridge. A lot of times, this is where the baby loses track of their mama, which sends them on a journey back down the hill. Gotta love temporary gates. Sometimes you can't help it. Even though you're trying to move them through a lane, it's got decent feed in it and they want to stop and eat, which that's fine. Peer pressure will get the best of them. As soon as one walks by, the rest of them will start moving this way for fear they're going to miss out. The grass is greener. Where do you think that came from? Okay, so when is the best time to move cows and calves? This is from our years of observation and it doesn't mean you're not going to have problems. You've, if you've watched any of our videos before, especially moving cows and calves, it's uh, invariably it's, it's an issue. But I'm talking about the best time that we've observed, I've observed, uh, my dad has observed, who I've worked with for years. And the, the best time is you want to get, and this is something that Bud Williams used to say too, you want to kind of give the cows a chance to get the babies up, nurse, and if you can catch them before they bed the babies back down and start grazing, that's when you want to bring them. So first thing at daylight, as much as I'd like for it to be the best time, because I love being out at that time, uh, it's probably not the best time. You want to give them just a little bit of time to get their babies up, get them nursed, get them fed, and catch them before they bed them down, like I said. Now, that's when cows have calves. When you're in what Ian Mitchell Ennis calls performance mode, you're trying to get the best of the best for the cows and you're trying to put back on nutrition and condition from uh, with the winter time. You want to move them when your plants have the highest energy value. And that has an infinite number of variables that affect it, you know, rain, uh, sun, uh, soil, when was the last time they grazed, the plant, how healthy is the plant, how old is the plant, all those types of things that may affect it. But in general, if you have a plant 
and you have a refractometer and if you don't you ought to get one a refractometer you can pull leaves off the plant compress them make juice put it on the refractometer look at it in the sun and it will give you an idea of the just let's just call it an energy measure and so you can measure the energy well what you'll find out at least in this country where I am is that once the Sun comes up and photosynthesis starts to take place the plants start getting more energy and they may almost double from say 8 o'clock to 10 30 11 o'clock so if you're moving them to a fresh pasture and you want them to have the best nutrition they can have because you're in performance mode it might be best to wait until that time when that when that refractometer says your plants have the highest energy and that would be the best time because they move in on, on a, a drive to eat and they start packing it in and and it does them a lot of good now they'll still if you move them in early they're still gonna eat they're gonna eat it but it may not have the best energy so did you waste it probably uh, so there's trade-offs you know there's trade-offs you've got to observe and adjust uh, so anyway, that's my two cents on when the best time to move cows with calves. Now, if you're moving them every hour, every half hour like we've done before, uh, that changes. And the calves will be a little bit bigger. I already said you don't want to do that when they're real little because it will create a problem for you with respect to stock density. So, uh, that's going to be a whole different scenario. But this is just talking about new babies, young babies, and, and when is best to move them. So. That's what we're doing today. It's a little bit later uh, than normal. This is where we're leaving. This is where we're coming out of. They've grazed quite a bit of it. You can look and see where they've topped it. You know, they bit the tops off right in here, right in there. So it, they've done well. Uh, you know, you could have left them a little bit longer probably. There's some plants maybe that they miss, but there's quite a few, quite a few that they've hit. So this time of year is probably a good time to just go ahead and move them a little bit early because it'll grow back so fast, and I say fast as long as we get rain. It'll grow back so fast that you want to be back in here pretty quick. So this is the last little group. You can see that even as careful as I have been, there's still cows that have left. Actually, this is the only one I've found right here. And he's looking for his mama. Once again, I'll have to leave the gate open, which that's normal. That's what you got to do. Because uh, if you don't, there's there's a good chance that there could be, because we're still in our calving season. There could be a baby bedded down down here that somebody got it nursed and decided to bed it and then took off. And so they'll come back, but you got to leave the gates open and hope that the rest of them don't come back. So we're done. It wasn't nearly as difficult as I was afraid. 
it was going to be. Thank you.